For many veterans who served their country, especially those in combat, the return to civilian life can be difficult. The number of vets struggling with depression, anxiety, and PTSD has risen dramatically in the last few decades, and getting help is often a struggle of its own. One veteran took his frustrations with the mental health care he was getting from the VA to social media. In a TikTok post, raw with emotion, his message clearly struck a chord and has since gone viral. Joining us now live with more is News Nation correspondent Brooke Schaefer. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Elizabeth. Joseph Contesano is an Army veteran. He served in Afghanistan. And since being home, he sought treatment for his mental health, a process he described as a maze filled with red tape. In a video now seen by hundreds of thousands, we see retired Army Sergeant Joseph Cantisano break down. The VA has continued to let me down. Frustrated over the mental health care he says he's received from the VA. I just want to, I just want some continuity of care, dude. I'm so tired of it. I've been off my, off all my medications for two years. I've been doing it on my own man i'm just fucking white knuckled i'm gripping jesus i'm so tired of it the army vet who lives in florida <laughs> want didn't want to share florida. his diagnosis but said the va let him down constantly switching his doctors a process he says can take weeks or months years ago maybe when i didn't have the support system i do or if the situation had been changed or my internal strength or the internal strength of another individual sitting in that seat, that might have been the last video they ever recorded. A recent study found 24 U.S. veterans die by suicide every day, most diagnosed with depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder. Jason Kander with the Veterans Community Project wrote The Invisible Storm, a book about his painful moments with PTSD. I, like a lot of veterans, waited way too long uh, to get to get care um, and to reach out. I spent about 10 years, a little over 10 years, um, kind of telling myself that what I what I was dealing with couldn't be PTSD because I didn't feel like I had earned it. That's what most veterans think, because when you're in the military, one of the things that you're taught is, you know, somebody has it worse. From 2001 to 2015, as many as 500,000 troops have been diagnosed with PTSD. These doctors keep quitting. They keep switching. When and we then, asked about the claims in I this really video, like. the VA said they couldn't discuss it due to patient privacy. We memorialize all of those who have fallen um, in service to our country in combat. Um, but imagine if we built a wall for all of the all of the individuals who um, committed suicide as a direct result of the shortcomings of the mental health care uh, in this country who serve their country honorably. Imagine how big that wall would be. It'd be gigantic. And to think that it's preventable is, is, a, is a complete, un, you know, it's an understatement. It's absolutely preventable. And that Army vet told us he has since heard from the VA after posting that video. They apparently called him, offered to help him with his case, and of course look into why this happened in the first place. Elizabeth? Oh. That video, Brooke, is really difficult to watch, and yet I'm so glad people are and know more about what these men and women who served our country so bravely are going through. Brooke Schaefer, thanks. That was a powerful report. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.